Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my YouTube channel Calculus and Mathematics Learning. In today's video, I will solve exercise number 5.2 related with the planes. So these planes and these lines will be totally related with the R square and R power 3. R square and R power 3 means that it will be two dimensional or either three dimensional. So let's move toward exercise 5.2 lecture number 9 BS Linear Algebra by Bernard Coleman and David R. Hill 8 edition chapter number 5 Application of Vector in R square and R power 3. Question number one of exercise 5.2 tells that find the equation of line in R square determined by the given point. So there are total four parts. I will solve past, past number part. Question number two is also same just like question number one. There are total uh, four parts and the statement of the question number two is same just like this question number one. So past part is past point P1 is minus 2 minus 3 and P2 is 3 power is given and that tells that find the equation of the line in R square. So the required equation of line is just like this x y 1 x 1 y 1 1 x 2 y 2 and 1 is equal to 0. This is the formula. So x y 1 will comes down as it is. My x 1 is minus 2 so I will write minus 2. After this we have y 1 which is minus 3. After this we have 1. After this we have x 2 x 2 is 3. After this we have y 2 which is 4 and 1 will come down as it. Now by expanding the determinant it will give us the required equation of the line. So in this case I expand with row 1 and it gives my uh, uh, it gives me the equation minus 7x plus 5y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is actually the required equation of the given line. Of the given, this is the required uh, equation of the given line of the given points P1 and P2. Now let's understand question number 3 tells that state which of the following points are on the line. So x, y, z is equal to given which is 3 plus 2t minus 2 plus 3t power minus 3t condition is given minus infinity less than t less than infinity. So four parts are given a, b, c, d. So let's suppose I assumed uh, this point is uh, x, uh, y and z. So remember comparing this x, y, z with x is equal to x0 plus at. So x0 is 3. After this uh, my a is 2. After this y is equal to y0 plus bt. So y0 is minus 2. And my b is actually 3. And z is equal to z0 plus ct. So z0 is 4 and c is uh, minus 3. Now we have symmetric line equation. Symmetric form of the line is x minus x0 over a is equal to y minus y0 over b is equal to z minus z0 over c. So over here this is x, this is y, this is z. And my x0, y0 and z0 is given over here. And my a is also given. This is actually a, b, c. So by putting these over here it gives us minus 1 is equal to 1 is equal to 1. This is not valid. Now for the same part number b, we have x, y, z is also given. x0, y0, z0, a, b, c is given by putting it is not valid. Same part, part number c it is not valid and same part the part number d. It gives 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2. All equations are given uh, equal. It means that part number D is valid and this lie on the line. Now we skip question number 4 because question number 4 is same just like question number 3 and move toward question number 5. It tells that find the parametric equation of the line to the point P0, X0, Y0, Z0 which is parallel to the vector U. There are total 4 parts and the methodology of solving all the 4 parts is same. That's why I solve the first part of this question. It, uh, P0 is given which is equal to 3, 4, minus 2 and vector u is equal to uh, given which is equal to 4 minus 5 and 2. So move to the solution p0 is 3 4 minus 2 given. So comparing with the p0 x0 y0 z0. So x0 is 3, y0 is 4 and z0 is minus 2. Now my u is also given which is 4 minus pi u2. So a is 4, b is minus pi u and c is 2. Now the equation is actually x is equal to x0 plus at, y is equal to y0 plus bt and z is equal to z0 plus ct. These are the parametric equations. So my x0, a and y0 and b, z0 and c is given. So putting x0 it become 3 and a is 4 so it become x is equal to 3 plus 4t. y0 is 4 so it become 4 plus bt, b is minus 5 so 4 minus 5t. z is equal to z0, z0 is minus 2 and plus ct, c is 2t. So these are actually the required parametric equation while the condition is given minus infinity less than t less than infinity. Now move to the next question, question number 6, there are total 4 parts in this question also. It tells that find the parametric equations of the line passing through the given points. This is let's suppose P0 and let's suppose this is P1. So solution desired line U is parallel to the P0 and P1. So P0 and P1, let's suppose this is P1 and let's suppose this is P0. So the position vector will be P0, P1 and P0, P1. So position vector is equal to the final vector minus initial. So final point is P1 and initial is P0. So P1 minus P0. So 4 minus 2 will give us 2. 2 minus and 2 minus 3 will give us 5. And 5 minus 1 will give us 4. Let's suppose this is my U. So since P0 lies on the line, we can write the parametric equation of L as. This is actually U. And U is equal to A, B, C. So A is 2, B is 5 and C is a 4. And my P0 is actually 2 minus 3, 1. So let's suppose this is X0, this is Y0 and this is Z0. 
So the required equation parameter equations are x is equal to x naught plus at y is equal to n s plus b t and z is equal to z naught plus c t. So x naught is given. This is the x naught. My a is also given. After this, y naught is given, which is minus three, and b is also given, which is pi. After this, we have z naught. Z naught is given, and my c is also given, which is four. So by putting these values, it will give us the required parametric equation of plan, which is x is equal to two plus two t, y is equal to minus three plus pi t, and z is equal to one plus four t. Now move to the next question. Question number seven. It tells that repeat question number six. So find the equation in symmetric form. So there are total four parts in question number six. So so let's suppose I take first part. Oh, in the first part we have p naught is two minus three one and p one is four two pi. Oh, so in the same way we will apply to you u is equal to p naught p one position vector. So p one minus p naught four minus two 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 minus two minus three pi. Oh, and pi minus one is four. This is actually a b c. Now the equation for the symmetric line is x minus x naught over a is equal to y minus y naught over b is equal to z minus z naught over c. So my a b c is given. So I will put a b c over here. Now my x naught, y naught, and z naught is actually p naught. So by putting x naught two and by putting y naught minus three, it becomes plus three. And by putting z naught one, so it becomes z minus one divided by c is a four. So this actually is a symmetric line equation. Question number eight tells that state which of the following points are on the plane three into x minus two plus two into y plus three minus four into z minus four is equal to zero. This line equation is given. So there are total four parts. So let's suppose this is x. This this is y. This is z. By putting x zero over here, it become minus six. By putting y minus two over here, it become plus two. And by putting z three over here, it become plus four is equal to zero. So it gives zero is equal to zero. It means that. This points lie on the plane. Now, for the part number B, it gives three not equal to zero. It means this does not lie on the plane. This also does not lie on the plane because this does not satisfy the condition. And the last part, this satisfies the condition. It means this also lie on the given plane. Now, move toward question number nine. It tells that find an equation of the plane passing through the given point and perpendicular to the given vector n. So there are total four parts. So let's I solve first part. Of In the first part, point is given which is zero, two minus three, and my vector n is given which is equal to three minus two four. Remember the property that vector n multiply the position vector p naught p should be equal to zero. So in the previous questions we learned that p naught p is equal to x minus x naught, y minus y naught, and z minus z naught. And when and when we take the dot product of p naught p with n, it will give us the equation a into x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus c into z minus z naught. Now my point is given, which is p naught zero two minus three. So this is x naught, this is y naught, this is z naught, and my vector n is also given, which is three minus two four. So this is a, this is b, this is c. So over here putting a, a is three, so it becomes three. X minus x naught is zero, so it becomes x minus zero plus b. B is minus two, so minus two into y minus y naught. So y will come down as it is. Y naught is two, so it becomes minus two plus c. C is four, and z minus time of z naught is minus three. By simplification, it becomes three x. Minus two into y minus two and plus four into z plus three is equal to zero. This is the required equation of the line. Now move toward question number ten. Find the equation of plane passing through the given three points. So there are total four parts. Part number a is point number one is zero one two point number two is three minus two pi and part uh, point number three is two three four. So remember the equation for these three points will be ax plus by plus cz plus dz equal to zero, which is derived from the previous equation that we learned in the previous question. A into x minus x naught plus b into y minus y naught plus into y z minus z naught is equal to zero. This is actually z minus z naught. Now over here, my general equation is x plus by plus cz plus dz equal to zero. So let's suppose oh, this is x or oh, yz, x or oh, yz, x or oh, yz. By putting x, yz in this equation, it will give us three linear equation. So my a x is zero over here, it becomes zero, and b is uh, not given, y is given, so it becomes plus b, and z is given two, so two c plus d is equal to zero. Same y x is given, which is three. So put three a has become three a, y is minus two, so it becomes minus two b, z is actually pi, so it becomes pi c plus d is equal to zero, and x is two. So it become two a, y is three become three b, and uh, z is four. So it become four c plus d is equal to zero. These three linear system. Let's suppose I assume d is equal to r over here. So it become b plus two c plus r is equal to zero. It become b plus two c is equal to negative r. By putting r over here, it become three a minus two b is equal to minus five c minus r. By putting r over here, it become two a plus three b is equal to minus r minus four. So these three linear system is generated. Now after this, I multiply this equation by two and this equation by three and subtract. It will give us minus thirteen b is equal to r plus two c. Now from this equation, I take b is equal to minus r minus 2c and put over here. It be it will give us c is equal to minus r by 2. Now my d is r, c is minus r by 2. So in this equation, when I put a b is equal to minus 2c, r if I put a c minus r by 2, it will give us b zero. So b is present, d is present, and c is present. I can easily get the value of a is equal to r by 2. 
Now let's suppose I assume R is equal to 2, so it will give us A is equal to 1, C is equal to minus 1, D is equal to 2 and B is equal to 0. By putting A, B, C, D in this equation, it will give us the required equation of the plane which is X plus 0, Y minus Z plus 2 is equal to 0. Now move to the next question, question number 11, find the parametric equations of the line of the intersection of the given planes. There are total three parts. Part number A is 2x plus 3y minus 4z plus 5z equal to 0 and minus 3x plus 2y plus 5z plus 6z equal to 0. So multiplying this equation by 3 and multiplying this equation by 2 and by subtracting or adding these two equations, it will give us 13y plus minus 2z and plus 27 is equal to 0. Now I find y from this equation, so shift these two values on the right hand side become 2z minus 27 and divide with 13. Let I assume this z is equal to t, t is any real values and t is any arbitrary constant belong to real. So it become y is equal to 2 times of z, it let's suppose t become 2t minus 27 by 13. Now from this equation I find the value of x, so minus 3x comes down as it is 2 times of y, put y values over here and plus 5 times of my z is t and plus 6 is equal to 0. So from this equation find the value of x in term of variable, uh, in term of constant t. So x is equal to 69t plus 24 divided by 39. Now my parametric equation is actually x is equal to x0 plus 80 y is equal to y0 plus bt and z is equal to z0 plus ct. Now this is actually x0 from OH24 by 39 and this is actually A time of T. This is actually first equation and from Y is equal to Y0. This is minus 27 by 13 is Y0 plus B time of T, B is 2 by 13 and Z is equal to Z0 is 0 over here and plus uh, C time of T, C is 1 and T. So these actually the required three parametric equation for the part number A. Now move to the next question, question number 12, find fear of planes whose intersection is given line. So three parts are given, x is equal to 2 minus 3t, y is equal to 3 plus t is equal to 2 minus 4t, a part and c part is the same, while b part is little bit different, x minus 2 over minus 2 is equal to y minus 3 over 4 is equal to z plus 4 by 3. Now the equation is x minus x naught by a o is equal to y minus y naught by b is equal to z minus z naught by c. So this is x naught or x naught is 2 put over here, y naught is 3 put over here and z naught is 2 put over here and a b c is actually this value minus 3, 1 and minus 4. So from over here x minus 2 over minus 3 is equal to y minus 3 and x minus 2 by minus 3 is equal to z minus 2 by minus 4, it will give us 2 pair of straight line equation. Part number B, uh, it is, 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 is in x minus x naught over a naught palm, so we cannot convert it here. So over here at x minus 2 over minus 2 will be equal to minus 3 by 4, from this uh, we will find the equation minus 2x minus y plus 7 and from x minus 2 over minus 2 is equal to z plus 4 by 3 we will find the equation 3x plus 2z plus 2 is equal to 0, these are the pair of straight line equation. Now for the part number 6 is equal to x naught is 0, so put 0 and y naught is 1, so put 1 over here and z naught is 2, so put 2 over here and a b c is given which is 4 pi o and uh, minus 1, this, this will also give you 2 pair of straight line 5x minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 4z minus 8 is equal to 0.